right so this was a fabulous idea that wasn't so fabulous because in the end it would have cost me about three hundred dollars just to do this entire balcony but these are locking tiles and all you would do is just simply lock them in as so and it's very easy to do and you know you can easily just change the color of the wood on your balcony just by getting these tiles Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys the other cool thing that I bought. So I finally found the type of vine plants that I wanted to kind of grow real long and kind of hang off the little desk area where the bookshelf is at. And I also bought one to go up on the balcony. Those are cool. And I also bought some daisies. I, I love daisies. I don't know where I'm going to put these, but they are so cool. So cool. Look at that. Some daisies, and here are my two vine plants. And they are already growing out pretty long. Like they had it all wrapped up. So they're gonna just grow and grow. Let's see the name of this. So it is called, let's see. Oh, Golden, Golden Pothos. Golden Pothos, that's the name of it. So I'm very happy that I found these. You gotta be I'm part of my um. Yes. You have to be part of my video now because I was supposed to be putting it together. So this is the finished product. My mom put together the table and a chair, so I'm just gonna put these in a garage until later. Hey you guys, so today I am decorating my balcony and I am super excited. So this is another part of the house that's going to be one of my main hangout spots along with my office. And I'm just having so much fun just decorating the house. So, you know, I finally bought everything for the balcony. So mainly it's just a bunch of laying things out. The thing that's going to probably take me the longest is putting together the couch and I'm hoping you know, I don't need power tools and it's not a whole bunch of directions. I hope it's very easy. If not, I'm going to have a dilemma. And so, but you know, I'm just crazy excited about getting started on this balcony so that I can, you probably hear my guinea pigs, not my guinea pigs, my daughter's guinea pigs in the background because I have the door slightly open here and they are right there inside of the loft. So you might hear them squeaking, see, <laughs> or oinking. I just can't wait. I want to finish enjoying this nice warm weather. You know, fall has just begun. Look at that pretty butterfly. A pretty yellow, ooh, another one. Oh my gosh, I have to hurry up and get myself out here. I want to finish enjoying this nice warm weather, you know, before it starts to get cold. So, but hey, I got on my carpenter's outfit, so let's get started. There's nothing out here right now. I just have some of my plants. But I did want to tell you all the name of some of these plants because I know some people might want to know. So right here I have my sunpatians and next to it are the daisies and then these are called golden globes. And I have my golden pothos and up here are the purple hearts and those yellow flowers I don't know the name of because the gardener put those in. All right, so I'm starting on my balcony. I'm just gonna go ahead and set out the chairs and the table here and put my beautiful little plant on top. I'm just laying out the rug, trying to decide how far I want it. I think I just want it right in the middle there and I'm just gonna stuff it under the door so that it looks nice and seamless and neat. Okay, and these are my artificial silk palms. And I love these because you can bend the little limbs the way that you like. So I have two of these. It is so hot out here. I think I might have to go change clothes. All right, you guys, so it was so hot out here, I had to go change my clothes, but I'm going to attempt to put up my plant trellis. I wasn't sure how this is um, gonna look up here. 
um, I really didn't want something that people can see from the driveway or driving past the house so I might sit it kind of low I'm not sure yet um, or just a little bit above the rail height but we'll see so we'll try it out and see if it doesn't look good I'll probably just take it down and use it somewhere else Uh oh, directions. Oh boy, just look at the look on my face. I hate directions. I'm the type of person I will try to figure it out on my own first, especially something as simple as this. So then I decided it was looking a little dusty in the corners. I better sweep the balcony off. That would have been a bright idea in the beginning, right? Oh, nosy neighbors. No, my neighbors are not nosy. I have very quiet neighbors. So I didn't want to put nails or holes in my vinyl siding. So all you would do is stick these right underneath here. See what that little crease is underneath the vinyl siding and it's very easy. Just take it, slip it in there and voila. Very easy to do. What I like about this trellis, it does stretch out pretty long as you can see here so and I love the wood look of it so I'm gonna take this and like I said I'm not gonna put it up that high just a little bit above the balcony rail there and I'm just taking my golden pothos plant and I'm just wrapping its arms in between the holes in the trellis and you know as they grow they'll get longer Alright, so it's looking pretty good here. I'm loving the way it's all turning out. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up the sofa. I'm just bringing out all the pieces here. More directions. Uh, but it only comes with a little bit of tools and screws, so. <laughs> I listen to this video and I have to laugh because it sounds like I'm working so hard. I don't know what that noise is in the background. It sounds like I'm using power drills. <laughs> and I don't really think that is me. Maybe it's somebody passing by or some type of outside noise. But hey, it makes for good sound effects. So... Alright, so I'm just trying to get the little end pieces on here which gave me a struggle okay so I figured it out I was screwing the, um, one of the screws into the wrong hole make it things harder than it actually is so let's screw it into the right hole Alright, so everything is put together and working just fine. I'm just going to slide it into position, bring out the sofa cover or the sofa cushion, and the pillows. Maybe even take a nap, right? I'm tired. <laughs> so relaxing. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the chair cushions on to the chairs. are the chair covers they are a little bit darker than the green on the chair and I kind of figured that but since the rug had a lot of bright greens and some dark greens I figured it would all blend in so and this came with four um, chair cushions I didn't need but two so I'll just put those up in case these get dirty this is supposed to be burgundy, but it's a little lighter in color. But there are some different pinks and burgundies in the rug, so maybe it'll all blend in. So I did take a chance on ordering these pillows, and I know that it was going to be a little off color, but I was hoping that it would have blended in since it says it's supposed to be burgundy, but <laughs> this does not look like burgundy. It looks more like a, like a cherry burgundy or a cherry pink, like a dark cherry color. 
but it's pretty. So we will see how this blends in. I won't need that one. I think I do need to add the extra pillow to kind of even it out. So let me run downstairs and grab another pillow insert and I'll be right back. Nice. It's so comfortable. It's so comfortable. You like it? You going to sleep? You going to sleep? It's that comfortable, any? Okay, time to wake up. I added the extra pillow just to even it out a bit there. And as you can see, my son, he can't stay off of the chair. Oh, you eat at the table, not on this chair right here. You want to eat at the table over there, right? Okay, now for the last little touch, I have my lantern. And I bought three candles for it. We have like a large candle, a medium-sized candle, and a small candle. Here are the candles. And this one I broke. I let it roll off the counter. <laughs> so this one is broken. But I'm still going to use it. Okay, so my son is going to show you all how the lantern opens. Then you would just simply close it by putting that latch back down. But what's so neat about these is that it works by this remote. How cool is that? Or I can have them sitting in opposite places one off. So if you don't have them too close to each other, you can actually point and turn each one off individually. You can also set a timer for this. So it has two hours, four hours, six hours, and eight hours. And then it says candle and also light. So you can set these to candle mode and it has that little flicker to it or you can set it to light mode. So that's light mode. Then we have candle mode. You can dim it or make it brighter. Now I know it's hard to see and I am going to do probably a nighttime shot for the candles so you all can see how they look but very I love these candles a lot. They are so realistic and as the wind blow they kind of move like a little flame, so I know this is going to look real good at night. Well, it's not totally dark out yet, but I wanted to show you guys the lantern and the candle. So I'm turning it on, and then I'm going to dim it. Oh, actually, this is the can't. Is that the dimmer? Yeah, dimmer. Okay, this is how I'll make it brighter. Um, it's a regular light. That's candle with the flicker. Yeah, so that is how the candles look. It's so pretty. It really looks like a real candle. They are just flickering. Look at the one over here. It's just flickering away. Yeah, flickering. They are flickering away. Um, they are made of real wax. Can turn it on and off so it has a on and off button at the bottom and they work by AA batteries but I do have some rechargeable um, AA batteries and I think that's the best way to go since you know I'm going to be using them a lot and I don't want to have to keep purchasing batteries and purchasing batteries so probably if you all decide to get some of these get the rechargeable batteries and that should work out pretty good Okay, you guys, so let me just show you everything.
All right, so I wanted to show you guys how the chairs work. <laughs> I was like, who is calling my name? Oh, hey, how you doing? I thought I heard somebody was talking to me. <laughs> One of my, not my classmates, I think he graduated with my brother. So I remember he, he, he drives the UPS truck. So, but he hasn't been over here in a while. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, when you sit out on your balcony, the people you will see again, right? Alright, so basically I have to take the chair cushions off and all you would do is just lift and it folds. And then for the table here, see that little piece in the front? You would just simply slide it to the side and fold down the table. Well, probably the only things that I don't too much like is the height of the table. I wish I did a little bit more measuring to make sure that the table and the chair sat a little bit lower. Um, they do sit kind of high, but I do have a neighbor who does a lot of craft work and making furniture. Um, she likes to make a lot of farmhouse type um, furniture and things like that. So I may go over there and ask her if she can kind of trim it down for me to the size that I would like. All right, you guys. So that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything was easy to put together. Uh, way easier than my office, but very simple even putting the couch together was very simple like I thought it was gonna take me all day and it, it almost did because I couldn't figure out how to um, turn the sideboards on the couch here and I had just figured that out putting this couch together would have only taken about five minutes like seriously it's that easy and it was that easy um, I'm not too concerned about the pillowcases and rather they match um, and they do it still blends in everything blends in um, very well because um, you know I can always buy new pillowcases so I'm not too worried about that the main thing I wanted to make sure that the rug was the right color because we have burgundy doors and I really wanted the rug to match the door and on the website it said that the rug was red so I was like oh I hope it's not too red but all in all it looks pretty good to me it's not a high red color it's more of a burgundy like a wine red so that worked out pretty good um, that's it it was just a bunch of laying things out basically um, putting the trellis up was easy you have to put holes in your vinyl sidings in uh, on your house because you know you just get those little hangers there and um, you know it's hanging up pretty good it's holding up pretty good and my little plant is gonna grow and climb 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 so it's gonna look really pretty once it starts to grow and get a little bit longer um, I also have to show you guys a video of how the chair is gonna look now that I got all of the couch and you know the pillowcases and the pillows on it so you can kind of get an idea of how it looks um, laying just straight out so you just lift up and this will lay all the way down like that and then I'm not gonna put the other side down because my little plant is over here but as you can see it lays all the way out so if I were to put both sides down, you can actually lay on it like it's a bed. And it's still pretty long, even if you just put one side down. So I probably might not even mess with that side when it comes to putting it down. Like, this looks like it's big enough for me. Because normally when you sleep, you kind of curl up into like a fetal position anyway. So... But all in all, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some ideas of how to enhance your balcony space. Or get one if you don't have one. I mean, you can come out here and take a nap. You don't have to work with nobody slapping you in the face. You know, you feel more protected and safe outside. Come out here and read, stretch. I mean, you just can't beat having an upstairs balcony. So, And like always, don't change, just enhance. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I could not leave you guys without introducing you to the noisemakers. So these are two cute furry balls of fun. Enjoy.